Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is really not totally all Corel Draw, even though the first part is. The second part is going to be about a if you have a epilogue fusion and how a neat little trick might help you engrave on glasses and even other things, cups, and 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 a lot of things. But anyway, what I've done is I took a picture of the cup I'm going to engrave on, and mainly I'm going to do this for the customer. I'm going to type out, uh, should already have just done, just Austin, Texas, where I'm from, kind of scale it down, pick a font, uh, make sure it's centered, and then I'm going to put it on the cup in a second, but we need to find that she's going to, let's say she wants it right in the center between the bottom of the lip of the cup to the bottom of the cup. Well, my cup, I've measured is 4.9 inches. So inside Corel, I need to find 2.45. This is very easily done with indexing lines. What I've done, I brought my cup in, I've sized it to the right amount. I'm gonna go over here and grab my rulers and I'm gonna put a new ruler right there on that indexing line, okay? Now this line is at zero, okay? I want to bring another line down to negative 2.45. That's the center of my cup. Now, with it being red, it's kind of hard to see. So let's draw a line, a two-point line. Hold down our control button so it'll be straight. Let's make it black. And then let's put it in our page. Same thing. Let's make it negative 2.45. Now that black line is in the center of our cup. So when we get this Austin, Texas, and it even pops to the center. So there's your Austin, Texas course. The engraving would be white, but you could send that to the customer with a program screenshot. I use, I use a program called Snagit that I'm actually using right now to create this video. But stay tuned for the other part of the video on how to put it in your rotary device and, and make that helpful. Anyway, hope this helps a little bit and thank you for watching. Hi, I'm going to show you a little trick I, I learned from Randy Allen with engraving concepts. I hope you can hear me over the internal fans of the laser. I've leveled my cup, I've focused my cup, I've leveled my cups. And if you do not have one of these type of levels, you probably need to get one. They're really cool and handy. Uh, you just want to make sure your laser is level on the floor versus the same angle as the cup is. Because if your if your laser was off level, it, this bubble needs to be the same amount off level as your floor. But what we're going to do, we're going to find the center of this cup without using a measuring tape, which I've always ever used before. Now my red dot pointer is on and it's actually a little bit past the lip and it's pretty much where I want. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to jog and I'm going to jog it over a little bit about to the edge of that lip of that cup. I'm going to double press my joystick and I'm going to set the home there. need to be on jog. I'm going to double click and then I'm going to press set. Now I'm going to go back to jog and I'm going to move over to the end of the cup. And that is 4.9. So now what I need to jog back over to 2.45 and I just actually, actually did it perfectly. It's 2.50. So that's the center between the lip and the bottom of the cup. All right, so here's the display. I'm going to go over to jog, and I'm going to jog over, and I actually go back because I actually head on zero. But then I'm going to double click on my joystick. It's going to come up with a set going that way. So now I've set my new home. 
go back down to joy, jog and move over and I've got 2.9 4, 2.894 right now that's good enough so what I want to do is go back to 2.45 And you can play around with this. You can get it right on the money, but that's 2.454. Double click your joystick, set home, and now that is the center of the cup is your new home. 